Uh, hi, I'm Jake Cromer. This is the third episode of Hot Ones. Today I have our guest, Mr. Hamilton. Uh, he's a eighth grade history teacher. He's also the drama director. I am. If you don't know him, I am. Um, it's pretty much how it works. Is we're gonna say the name of the sauce, eat the wing. I'll ask you a question, and then just keep going. We have some right. new sauces, so it should be pretty good. Um, so first <laughs> okay. we have. Uh, Buffalo with comfortable heat, mild from Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, it's pretty, okay, sure. Pretty easy, pretty good start. Yeah, you got it. I'm <laughs> good. Okay. It doesn't sound like you're good. I'll. Okay. I'll be fine. It'll <laughs> that was literally the first way. I know that. Okay, okay. I'm good. All right. <laughs> um, first question. Uh, what's your favorite memory with a former student from Smithville? Or just so, favorite memory? Just yeah. Okay. So, it's school related, but not at school. So a couple of years in, probably two or three, um, the drama kids were going down to Columbus uh, for these annual conferences. And the lady that drove um, got really, really sick at the conference. And so... I drove home. This is when we are allowed to drive students around. We can't do that anymore, right? Um, showing how old I am. Um, and uh, she continued to get sick while we were driving down the road uh, back from Columbus. And we started talking, and we, we talked so much that we missed our first exit to get off on 585 to go to, to, through Worcester to Smithville. Is this a bus? No, this was a, a minivan. Okay. Um, we look back behind us, nobody's behind us, and we have no idea why. Because we just completely missed the exit. We had no idea where we were. Um, and then uh, we passed uh, the Ashland exit and missed that too because we were still talking and she was still getting sick in the car next to me. So um, the next, I believe the next exit is Lodi, and we missed that one too. So um, the kids are all crying in the back of the car because it smells like vomit. This poor lady, I've never driven this car. All the kids are laughing and crying and the windows are down. It's in the middle of winter. It's freezing cold in the car and we keep missing exits. And uh, I think we got home like an hour and a half after everybody else did. Next we have hot sauce, buffalo with major heat, also from Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, okay. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Very good. It's actually not that much worse than the first one. So. No, not really. Not yet. <laughs> um, second question. What's the most trouble you've ever gotten in when you were a student? I don't know if I can tell that story. <laughs> uh, I was the president of the um, choir, all right, because we had treasurers and presidents and things like that. And we were heading to, I believe it was Toronto for a trip. So the daily record came in. And they took a, um, a photo of us loading a van. Why a van? I have no idea. We took charter buses. But they had us loading a van. And when they asked us for our names, um, we gave them very, very grossly inappropriate names. And the editor didn't catch it. And so it made it into the newspaper. Um, yeah, so that we got called in the principal's office the next day, and you know, um, you know how we misrepresent our school and and how it was inappropriate. We had to apologize to everyone in an assembly that we had done it. So there were two of us. There were four of us in the photo, but only two of us gave the wrong names on purpose. And we had to stand up in front of the entire school and apologize for making Worcester schools look bad. So. I, yeah, that was, that was a long time ago too, so, but I'm not proud of it, but it does make me chuckle still. I think, you know, when you're a teacher, you have to have a little bit of a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. That's yeah. greatly better than the last two responses we got for that question, so. <laughs> okay. Third question. Um, Red Hot Lava Flow. Now, this does not have any ingredients listed on it. That worries me a little bit. But okay, I'm a little worried too. Here we go. Yep. 
Oh, you're going for the water first. That's the milk. Oh, I've been drinking the water. The okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. That one just doesn't taste very good. Yeah, I'm not. It just it's it's just hot. There's no yeah. good taste to it. Yeah, like it doesn't really taste like anything but hot. Yeah, yeah. it's just pain. Mm. Um, what is your favorite show you put on drama? Wow. So there's um, been a lot of them. How long have you been doing it? So this is my 22nd year. So the middle school musical will be my 22nd, and my high school musical will be my 19th. Um, I would say, I know your audience is mainly high school kids, but my favorite middle school show was Shrek. Um, I don't know, something about the characters and the music, and I just really, really enjoyed that. And honestly, I would say my favorite high school show was um, Anything Goes. That was the first show we did here in the new building. Uh, we built a giant ship on the stage. It was a giant boat. Um, you just you're pounding that milk, buddy. Um, okay. Anyways, yep. yeah. Um, and uh, it was great. I I really like that. I think a lot of it had to do with um, with coming into the new building mm -hmm. more than anything else. Because I really I really love doing shows with my kids, regardless of. Mm -hmm what it is. I have great memories of every year and all my kids. So it's not really about who I worked with necessarily. I think it was the excitement of being in the new building and mm -hmm. building a giant boat on stage. Oh, that's so. a lot. Yeah. Um, this was the previous last wing. Oh, okay. So You're it dialing it up a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Uh, the atomic wing sauce is... So I'm a little confused. Your wing... Okay, so this is this one here. Yes. Okay, This all is right. fourth wing, fourth wing. Okay, yep. all right, are we going in? Yup. So much hesitation. Mm -hmm. um, yup. Do I win a prize? Yup. <laughs> you look not as stupid as I do. I mean, I got a little dewy, <laughs> but you know, it's all right. I don't need milk right now. <coughs> you need that pudding. Yup, that yeah. pudding was really really good okay what's your question okay and it's um, hot I'm not like trying to figure yeah. it out but do you need a refill maybe okay. um do you want pudding there you go actually, actually pudding would be great okay. Hold on. uh if you could live in any fictional setting what would it be and why in any fictional fictional setting, setting yeah in a fictional setting um wow that's a great question mm -hmm. um so there's this book Thank you. by Clive Barker called The Thief of Always. And um, it focuses around this house. I got a little heat now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I might take a drink. Is that all right? Okay. I can't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, and they live in this house, this magical house. And in the morning, it's springtime. And then the middle of the day, it's summer. Mm -hmm. And then as the sun sets, it becomes autumn. And then as the evening progresses, it becomes winter, right? And it's sort of like this magical all the seasons in one day. And they celebrate Christmas and Halloween and Thanksgiving. All this is really neat. And then they find when they leave the house, an entire year has gone by. Oh. Even though to them, it was only like 24 hours. I thought it would be really fun. I don't know that I'd want to lose time, mm -hmm. but just to be able to experience spring and summer and winter and fall and celebrate all the holidays in one day, I think would be amazing. That would be really neat. So, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm not cheering up, but I'm wiping away <laughs> a little bit of uh, whatever the heck that was. I'm okay. struggling a little yeah. bit. <clears throat> okay. Um, last we have the unlabeled sauce which is scarier than heck it's very frightful um we can't disclose where we got it okay <laughs> can i open it go for it it's kind of sweet yeah i have never tried you know, you i've never tried that? it i've smelt it oh okay <laughs> all right i mean um, why wait i'm terrified okay i'm just okay i'm just too dumb to worry about it so that's a great. Okay. Okay. 
Survive. Well, better than you. Um, <laughs> I'm surviving great. Okay. All right. If you say so. <coughs> yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, I'm, that's uh, hot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I think I'm smart. Oh, here we go. I think I'm smart enough to farewell, sweet mother. Of it's like sick. Okay. Um, we'll bleep that out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes, I want to say a lot um, of bleepable <laughs> words right now. <laughs> I think I, I think I'd do okay. I'm not. Um, but uh, but see, like I'm a little out of shape, so I don't know that I'd be able to outrun any zombies. But probably smart enough to. To find a place to stay and to gather our supplies and holy crap. We need to get Bratcher back. He would not be able to survive. No, that's a, it's a bit much. Yeah. But um I'm lactose yeah. intol intolerant too, so I really And you're should. just pounding that milk away. It's gonna be a rough night at your house. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um so I think I'd do okay, but it's not not great. Oh I breathed in. It was on my lip. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. This has been Hot Ones. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Hamilton. You're welcome. Okay. Harry, no offense, but I think a damp cave is brighter than your future, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a pilot. I can't wait for you to just die. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, you didn't even ask me questions. What's wrong with you? Margaret. I want milk. He is dying to get nervous. Left a oh, shoot. On my face because it was burning. I'm fine. It's really, it can't be that bad. You're